welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, again, I'm Alex. I do all kinds of crazy things here on my channel. But today it's gonna be a story time, and this is actually a requested video. And if you guys wanna know what's on my lips, it is Naked Nectar, and it is a elf um, lip stain. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down below into the video. So let's start out seven years ago. So I was a... <laughs> This is so sad. I was a very lonely. Um, so most of my days are spent online because I didn't have any friends in real life. <laughs> and so I would make friends online. I know that's like dangerous and there's like scary people on the planet. Well, that's true. I'm not saying like, yeah, go out and befriend everyone. Give, give them your number, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, to me, I was just so lonely that that didn't even cross my mind. Of course, I knew that I had to be careful and everything. So, um, I actually don't remember. My husband said it's on a Yahoo Answers and that he answered one of my questions. But I don't think that's true. I think that we actually met in a Yahoo chat room. Yeah, remember when that was a thing? Because that's where I spent most of my time. Like I said, I was a very lonely child and the only interaction I had with other people was through the internet. You know how Facebook has this feature where you can find people in your address book and it will add them? So I think that he found me in his address book and he added me. And on Facebook, we would comment on each other's posts, not all the time, but maybe like every year or every six months, we'd be like, hey, he would come on my Facebook and write on my, my wall and be like, hey, Max was here and put his timestamp, like seriously. And sometimes I would message him and I'd be like, hey, Maxi, when are you gonna come see me? And of course, you know, everyone says they're gonna come see you, but they don't. <laughs> So this went on for like seven years, okay? And we didn't really like talk or have a conversation. He would try to call me, but I would never answer because I was super shy. And what's funny is I worked in call centers and I was like so outgoing and I could talk to anyone. So yeah, after this, um, sometimes we did, I think it was January 2015. I heard his voice for the first time and I'm like, oh, you have a British accent. Wow, that's pretty hot. I mean... British accents are really, like, attractive to me. And so we started talking more throughout the year, but, um, what's funny is I thought he was actually British. It turns out he was actually Indian, but he was in England for some of the times while we were friends. So after this, um, he started talking to me and he said, hey, I'm going to come to USA for like a business trip. And I said, oh, that's really cool. Like maybe we can meet up, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, I'm coming in November. This is 2015 still. And yeah, he like came and he started calling me. And he would say like, yay, hey, yay, hey. See, I'm getting all flustered just thinking about it. And he would like call me and he would like, okay. I actually have some of the voicemail saved. I've saved every voicemail he's actually sent me and it's just, I'm sorry, Max. I love you so much. I saved your voicemails because I just love you. <laughs> okay, let's see. So at this point, we're just friends. That's it. Um, I should mention that he went to three different states. Um, so that's why we never met up. And then during the last part of his trip, he was about three hours away from me. So I said, hey, you should come down and visit. And what happened was he didn't have enough time. So basically he just left. So he didn't get to meet. So after this, um, he sent me a message and said like, hey, I'm back in India now. And I'm sorry I didn't get to meet up with you. And I said, yeah, it's cool, whatever. Hope you had a good time. So I should mention that when he was here, I was also calling him and I would be texting him. Like if he said he would call me at six and he didn't, I would message him and be like, hey, um, you didn't call me, like what's up? I don't know, I guess, like I said, I <clears throat> at this point in my life, I think I was also kind of lonely too. So the fact that I had a friend who I wanted to meet for a while uh, in the same country as me, that was really exciting. After this happened, I was really upset that he didn't meet me. So at this point, I was like, you know what, whatever. I'll still talk to him because we're friends, but I'm not going to try to like be his friend anymore because 
why should you try to be someone's friend who obviously doesn't want to be your friend? Yes, there's some free advice for you young folks. <laughs> so, after this happened, um, I think it was in November. I know this sounds really silly, but I actually had a Facebook sales group and I had about 10,000 members. Um, at this point, I just lost someone really close to me a few months prior, and so I was really so emotionally upset about that. So I might have been a little, like, different than how I normally was. Anyway, to make a long story short, I had some of my friends, internet friends, actually one of the girls I actually met in person, steal my sales group, which took me three years to actually get together, which was very sad. Um, so I was talking to Max about it, and he said, you know, don't worry about it, you can just start over, which I did, and we're at about like 3,000 members, but that's another story. And um, yeah, it. I mean, we were still talking a little bit off and on, not, not too much, because like I said, I wasn't going to pursue this man who didn't even come see me, even though he was three hours away from me. And yeah, um, after this happened, it was December 22nd, 2015, um, we started talking and he actually called me on the phone for the first time in like seven years. So we started talking and it was like of course India has a I think it's ten and a half hours ahead so after that um, we talked and we talked and we talked and it was like 2 a.m. my time and honestly we just clicked instantly we were laughing we were smiling and it was just a great conversation and by the end of it it was like two hours we talked for two hours so in my mind I'm thinking I really really enjoy this conversation but I know that with most of my friends when we talk for a few hours it just means I'm not going to talk to them for a really long time so I guess I was just enjoying the fact that I had a moment where I actually was happy in my life so after that, I was like, yeah, we'll probably talk again in a few months, you know, because I wasn't, I was not looking for like a relationship or anything like that. So the next day he called me again and I was like, what? And we talked for another two hours. Let me just tell you the next day after we were talking, my cheeks were sore and my jaw is sore from smiling so much from December the 22nd, 2015 into May 2016 we talked every day for at least two hours on the phone and I think it was February like he said that he loved me I was like what? we haven't even met yet this is crazy and you know Indian culture they still have like arranged marriages and they marry pretty quickly and for me I was like yeah that's our culture is different so Basically, in May 2016, he came over for some business purposes, and we finally met. And it was horrible, okay? So, the first thing I said is, oh, you're a lot darker and shorter than I thought you would be. Who says that? <laughs> oh my gosh! I was so, so nervous. You have no idea. Like, I'm even getting red thinking about it. Like, I was so, 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 so nervous. I want to make it sound like a perfect fairy tale because I'll be honest, there was a few months that it just felt like it was not going to work. August, after he met my parents, he... After he met my parents, he asked them if he, they, if he could marry me. And so in May, we met in person. And then in August, he proposed to me. And in October, we were married. And yeah, that's basically the story of how we met from the beginning until now. Now, if you guys want to see a video about like what's our marriage like and like a little story encouraging you can keep going no matter what just comment below um this is just a cute 
love story, I think, especially since we're from two different countries, two different cultures. Um, I can say that meeting him has definitely been one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And I'm really lucky and yeah. So Max, if you're watching this, I love you so, 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 so much. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope your heart is tingling now. So if you guys have any questions, comment below and maybe I'll even get him to do a video with a thumbs up and I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have an awesome day!